All right, here we are again in parallel circuits. Again, we are working on faults. The last video went over opens in a parallel circuit, and this one we are going to look at shorts in a parallel circuit. So here's the same parallel circuit that we've been looking at, and of course we know that resistors don't actually short, so we actually will short around a resistor, and in this case we are going to use R3 and we will short around R3 in branch 3. Now because each one of these branches only has one resistor in it, if I remove the resistive value in the branch, we see that current takes the path of least resistance and goes through branch 3. It does not go at all through branch 1 and branch 2. So this new change in current, what current is doing, has shown us that current is going to be quite large, but we can probably see already that since we have two non-conducting branches and the only conducting branch has no ohmic value, resistance is going to go down a lot. So we look at total resistance. Originally it was 2.86k ohms, and now we find that it is actually 0 ohms. So because current now flows, all flows through branch 3, and branch 3 is simply a conductor, we don't have an ohmic value for the circuit. Now we look again like we did last time. With our individual ohmic or our individual currents in our branches, we see that branch 1 has 100 volts divided by 10k, but we don't have current flowing through that branch, so it's actually 0. And similarly, branch 2, no current flow, 0 amps. Branch 3, on the other hand, will change, but it will change in exactly the opposite way. So before it had 20 milliamps, and now it has what we consider maximum, or as much as the voltage source can handle. Now in actuality, in circumstances like this, if there isn't a protection device somewhere in your circuit, you are likely going to damage your voltage source and quickly lose current flow if you have um, a straight short like this. So we look again at our calculations for current, and originally we had 35 milliamps. Now, of course, we just have a maximum value that we are, we don't know the exact value, we just know that it's high. All right, now finally let's look at voltage. So the voltage on R1 and R2 we know will be zero volts because it does not have any current voltage. Um, is equal to resistance times current. So if resistance is 10k for branch 1, then and current is 0, we know we have a 0 volt drop. And you're going to see that for both R1 and R2 in branch 1 and 2. Now, 3, on the other hand, is an interesting situation. So what's happening there is because there is no ohmic value, then you are going to take that that no ohmic value and multiply it by current, which is maximum, and you actually get a very high number multiplied by zero, which gives you, no surprise, zero. Um, and that, again, is because this is something that's going to happen very, very momentarily and is quickly going to damage that voltage source or open a protection device um, if it happens to have one, and hopefully it does. So I hope you enjoyed this bit on um, parallel circuit shorts. Next, we are going to cover change values in a parallel circuit.